Photoshop is a comprehensive image editing and graphic design software, but it takes up a lot of space and can slow down your computer. In today's video, I'll reveal the top five free photo editors of 2024 that give Photoshop a run for its money. Whether you're a photographer, designer, or casual editor, these tools are packed with pro-level features without the hefty price tag. Stick around to discover which one's perfect for you. Photoshop is undoubtedly one of the most powerful tools out there for image editing and graphic design. But let's face it, it's expensive, starting at $9.99 per month. It's resource heavy, which can slow down your computer. And for beginners, it can feel like learning a new language. So, if you're looking for free and efficient alternatives, I've got you covered. Let's dive into the five best free Photoshop alternatives in 2024. By the way, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more AI updates. Number five, Pixlr. Pixlr distinguishes itself as a photo editor free like Photoshop. Many features are similar, being entirely web-based. It allows you to make basic adjustments such as vignettes, color correction, saturation, contrast, and frames. The mobile version makes it easy to edit photos on the go. Pixlr is a good choice for those who don't have any room to download extra programs on their computer. You'll need a constant internet connection to edit photos using Pixlr. Pixlr even supports layers, which is hard to find in an online editor. Number 4. PhotoP PhotoP is another online photo editor that doesn't require users to download any software. It supports a range of file formats, including PSD, yet doesn't offer all of the editing tools that Photoshop does. The interface is similar to Photoshop Elements, making it easy to make the switch without a big learning curve. PhotoP supports layer editing on imported PSD files and makes it easy to instantly improve photos with basic adjustments. It also supports both raster and vector graphics. Number three, Krita. Krita is another program that's geared toward illustrators and graphic designers and offers many of the same tools as Adobe Illustrator. However, it does support PSD files, so it's great for designers who often turn to Photoshop. In Krita, you can work on multiple projects at once, and there are a lot of different effects to choose from. Krita also supports drawing tablets, making it ideal for digital painting and sketching. Krita doesn't support raw files. Number two, GIMP. Perhaps the most well-known free software to edit photos like Photoshop, GIMP has been around for ages and is one of the first programs that comes to mind for many people when they think free Photoshop for PC. It's an open source program available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and the official website offers a lot of helpful tutorials. The GIMP team did a great job on compatibility. You can work with all popular file formats without any problems. GIMP includes advanced features such as layer masks and filters. There are plenty of downloadable add-ons to fit your needs. Number one, Canva. Canva might not be the most obvious choice for Photoshop alternatives, but it's a useful platform for any creator. It provides templates for just about anything you could need when running a business. Their free toolkit is quite extensive and the paid plans offer even more editing possibilities. Also, Canva's mobile app is great for designing on the go and you can post your creations straight to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Tumblr, and other social media platforms. In addition, Canva Pro has a feature named Brand Kit, which makes branding each graphic exceptionally easy. If you want a well-rounded free Photoshop alternative, I'd suggest PhotoP. It can be used as a design tool, has a set of social media templates, and has the same adjustment layer and photo editing tool options as Adobe Photoshop. Let me know in the comments which of these tools you're most excited to try. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.